Hi everybody. So today we're going to try and flash uh, this CityLink USB uh, Wi-Fi smart switch and we're going to try and flash that with Tasmota. Uh, by standard, uh, or by default I should say, you can control this with the CineLink app which is cloud-based and as, uh, as we discussed in my last video, uh, I don't really want to use a cloud-based app to control a local smart switch. I don't want to share my data. Uh, I don't know what they're going to do with that, of course. So Tasmota is the way to go. So once we flash this with Tasmota, then we can um, we can control it completely locally without uh, sharing anything uh, over the internet. So this has got an ESP8285 chip, which means with an FTTI uh, controller, uh, we can use this board uh, from a PC to flash to this device um, the Tasmota firmware. So the first thing we're going to need to do is just take this thing apart. It's just a, a light plastic you're going to need to use uh, some kind of prying tool like I've got here and you can see there's a seam here down the edge so just very gently uh, just try and separate that uh, otherwise you're going to have to send off for another one it comes apart quite easily but you just want to take your time because we obviously want to put this back together afterwards so there we go that's broken the seal and there we go so inside you can see the ESP8285 chip if I just remove that last piece, and I don't know if you can see that, but right here are some very, very small that programming pins. Can you see those? Uh, they are smaller than I've seen uh, on any other of these smart devices. They're about a millimeter apart, I think, uh, when I measured them. So I would normally use these kind of uh, jack leads, control leads, to connect from the FTDI uh, controller into the programming ports, but these are just too big. Um, so you know, if you if you try to put these in, they're just not going to go in. But what I did find, you can either use just dressmaking pins will go in, uh, or you can use um, Ethernet cable. So I've stripped these from a piece of Ethernet cable, and it turns out that the gauge size of the copper will go through uh, these holes with a very snug fit so as you can see here very difficult to focus so what i'm probably going to do um, to get this thing flashed is i'll use a bunch of these uh, cables i'll connect them i'll strip these off connect them to these so that i can then connect it to the ftdi uh, controller board so there's no markings on here uh, but I did find some uh, some pictures online where these uh, control um, pins are labelled. See if I can just focus that again. Sorry, it's not a great camera. There we go. So let me just get something to uh, go through each of these uh, programming pins. So this furthest one out here is the power supply. So that's three volts. Uh, the next one in is uh, a reset pin. The one after that is uh, GPIO, so you can uh, tell it to go into programming mode. Then you've got uh, RX, then you've got TX, and then you've got ground. Okay, so the wiring's all done, and it's ready to plug into the uh, USB port on the, my laptop uh, to flash Tasmota. So you can see what I've done. I've taken from the um, FTDDI board, I've taken the normal jumper cables, but what I've done is I've just bared the wire uh, on the ends of those and connected them to the ethernet cables. And then I've put some, um, uh, some electrical insulation tape around it. And then I stripped off probably just two millimeters at the end and then pushed those into the uh, into the programming ports it's difficult to see there uh, but they're all plugged in ready to go and then I've got the USB lead at the other end of the ETDI board to go into the laptop before we do that we need to download uh, TAS motor sizer and then uh, plug that in and hopefully flash it across so just to remember and I'll, I'll put a link in the description and I'll flash it on screen now you just need to make sure that from the board uh, you do the free volts uh, from the FTDI board to the USB board. Uh, you need to ground also. RX on here goes to TX on here. TX on here goes to RX on there. 
and then you also also have to run another ground uh, to the GPIO uh, pin on the um, on the USB board here in order to uh, start the board up into flashing mode. Um, so anyway, I'll put that on the screen now so that you can see it. Okay, let's jump over to the laptop and carry on. Okay, so with the USB board connected to your FTDI board and the board plugged into the USB port of your uh, laptop, the next thing you want to do is head over to um, GitHub uh, for Tasmota and download uh, Tasmota Sizer. I'll leave a link in the description. So just click on the executable and then that will download uh, to your laptop. Once that's downloaded, head over to your uh, downloads. You will see it there. Then just double click to launch it. So once that's launched, just select the COM port that you've plugged the FTDI board into your laptop. Then select the release of Tesmoto you want to use. I'm just going to use Tesmoto Lite and then just get Tesmoto, Tesmotoized and just wait for that to happen. While that's doing that, if you haven't already, maybe you could subscribe to the channel and uh, hit that notification button uh, so you, uh, you're you in the rough front row for the next videos. Process successful. Look like uh, Looks like that's been done. So next thing you want to do is power uh, cycle the device. So I think we can now unplug this and uh, and then boot it up and then we can do the next stage, which is to configure the template. Okay, now we've flashed uh, the Cinelink USB device with Tasmota. We need to configure it so that it connects to our home uh, local area network. So to do that, uh, jump over on your laptop, hit on the uh, Wi-Fi search, and look for a new SSID with Tasmota. So just click on that, and then click Connect. Once it's connected, just open a browser, open a new tab, and then just navigate to the IP address for that uh, device, which is 192.168.4.1, and press enter. And then once we're there, we just need to configure uh, the Wi-Fi uh, details so that the Tasmota device in future just connects to your home network. So just enter your SSID details in here. I'm going to connect mine to my Asus router 2G network. So the SSID for that is Asus G. And then I just enter the password. Once you've entered the password, just press save. Okay, once you've finished entering the SSID details into the Tasmota interface, so they're in connect to your home network. You just need to find out what the assigned IP address so that we can uh, finish configuring uh, the device. So I've headed over to my Asus router. I'm just going to view a list of the connected devices, uh, devices and have a scroll through, see what's changed. So straight away, I can see this device, Tasmota, at IP address 192.168.1.127. You could do it by using a free IP scanner, which I do use sometimes. I'll leave a link in the description for this piece of software. You just hit the scan button and it'll look at the devices. And uh, straight away, I found the same device at 192.168.1.127. So the next thing to do so that we can finish configuring the device is open up a tab on a web browser and navigate to that uh, to that IP address. So that was 192. 168.1.127 press enter and there we are uh, we're at the main uh, Tasmota interface okay so the first thing we need to do is go into configuration and then configure other and what we need to do is change this template uh, so that it's set up uh, for the Cine USB device you can get the template um, from the um, Cinelink uh, page on Tasmota and just copy uh, this uh, provided JSON string. So if we just copy that, uh, go back to the Tasmota interface and just paste that string in. 
So make sure that's in properly. And then all you need to do is scroll down and press save. And then back main menu. That'll take a few seconds while the template is uh, implemented and the device reboots. And now you should be able to toggle that device on and off. One other thing to mention quickly uh, on the configuration, configuration other page, make sure you tick the activate checkbox here before saving. Otherwise the template won't activate. So just a quick tip there. Uh, for you to do. Uh, other than that, that's uh, that's all you need to do, and the device is now ready for you to toggle on and off. So as you can see, when I push the button here, um, when I toggle it on, you get a red light, and when I toggle it off, you get a green light. Okay, so that's it. We've successfully flashed Tasmota onto our CineLink uh, USB smart switch. Um, fairly simple job, I think. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you do, please consider subscribing and maybe even hitting that notification bell so we see each other in the next video. Take care, everybody.